to be right. Yeah. Be wrong. Yeah. Like speed dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. speed dating. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm so, Dave. I'm Richard. I'm Sandra. <laughs> I'm Dave. Right, so like you like the long walks on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> I'm an outdoor freak. <laughs> <laughs> I like climbing. So we've got, we've got good people here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the closest you guys are going to get all year. Yeah, well, I like to think there's a duality in some of these people and their reasons for doing things. I mean, I, I want to speak on behalf of um, Sutrakian. He is kind of on the side of the angels, but in his quest to do what he has to do, he's taking these young people along with him, putting their lives in danger by his, I mean, his, at times his behavior and his method for chasing the master is bordering on the reckless and uh, without and he's, he's very unsentimental about the whole thing and uh, I mean they could they could be leading these people to their death so he's he's, 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 he's doing something for what he sees as for the, for the right reasons even at the cost of his own life and others so it's, it's not totally selfless <laughs> no, he's, he's no, um, he, isn't, he isn't an angel, even though he's on the side of the angel, let's say. Uh, but still, the fact is that it's, a, it's like, for me, an epic clash between two visions of how the world should go. And so, it's, it's a, the epic and classic fight between good and bad. But the strong side of it is that both worlds have very much reasons to sustain that they are the ones, uh, on the right side. So for me it's a little bit also, and by the way, personalized specifically in our relationship, by our relationship, it's a little bit the Cold War. It's the Berlin Wall. It's the Russians and the Americans. Or at least two, as I said, different systems of how we should run the world. And it's just that the one we do not know about, the vampires, are so threatening because they question all our human values. And the clash is in between us. And so we, have, I think, the very interesting thing is, is our relationship because it's a friendship and it's a hatred and it's everybody, each of us tries to, to kill the other and we, we, didn't, we do not succeed. And it's an ongoing story since 80 years, 70 years. So that's quite interesting. Were these aspects very apparent when you first got this, when you were first pitched the idea for this, for this series, or has this developed now that you're several episodes in? Oh, it's a little bit like you have the, you have the books, but then in the books, my character appears only in the second book, and I was talking with Guillermo, and he made it very clear that Ikos will become a main character and he introduced him in the very beginning and then I found out that he actually combined two or three different characters to become one single character so you have a strong opponent to the strong traction and thus uh, our, our relationship started because we have this relationship when he's a young boy and uh, he works for me and so you have this possibility to to go to, to, to tell our stories in flashbacks and which by the way is the strength of the of the series anyhow because you can tell what happened where the master comes from in flashbacks so this is a this kind of time machine you could use from time to time and still it's a very very contemporary story it's on, on the third I think it's the third book there is a very nice quote Grant Stoker meets Michael Christian meets Stephen King and this is a kind of the tasty mix I like so much about it. What, what was the thing that drew both of you to the roles on this show? What, to, the, what, what? to your particular role? What drew you to want to accept the role? The role? This well, the fact that um, that I, I didn't see him like as a, as, a, as a good man, or I think it's always dangerous as an actor to, to, to make a judgment on a character. You, you play them from their, their own point of view, whatever they do, that's it. Without, 
and uh, and the fact that he was he, he was he is a, a flawed man in some ways and very just very very human and uh, and there's something so basic about his drive that attracted me to him and, and the fact that um, you see a lot of him in flashback and, and what drives him and, and because he's revealed slowly um, that's always to me more interesting than someone whose total history you get in the first episode. Well, I, I very much sustain what you just said. You, you never judge a character you're going to play. You just really try to 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 spouse to, to be to be in his point of view. Yeah. So. When, when you are able to have this entrance in the character's vision or psychology, then you start to hear he has actually a lot of reasons to, to act like he acts. And you don't judge him by... Uh, it's basically also the problem I, I have uh, with, with those characters, the weird, the, 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 the psychopath or the bad guys. Very often, the, writers, the writer already wrote him from the hero's point of view. That this is the bad guy, he does bad things, and he... he, he, he like that, you know. But to make him exist in a believable way, you have to do the opposite. I have reason to do what I do. I have a mission. I have needs. I have whatever you you think he should have. But you have to find the reasons why he acts like he acts. And when you have it, you don't leave it anymore because that makes the character strong, and that makes the character believable. And that's the most in, most important thing, you know. You don't blame bad. You don't blame bad. You don't blame good. Don't play the good guys good. You don't play the bad guys bad. You, you play what you try to find what thrives the the, 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 the character. That's it. And there is a lot you can find out about those characters. They're very both very very complex characters. It's very very challenging for an actor. You know? We are. We have a last question. I have one question. Uh, are yes. we going to find out more how your character ended up over here? I mean, you were in Berlin, you're over here, and you met Palmer, and how you hatched all this plot? Absolutely. <laughs> this is absolutely one of those seeds that popped up, and uh, they found out that it's very interesting to go into that, uh -huh. and you will find out a lot, a lot, what you just get a glimpse of in our prison scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if you have seen this, this scene of Are our you? first encounter. Yes. A lot of Amazing. hints are declared there uh -huh. and you will find out all about that in, in, the, in the following seasons, by the way, specifically in 7 and 9. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.